The Anthur Glen Archive is an incredible collection that brings together um, sketch designs, ephemera, order books, um, minute books, cash books, and it really tells the story of this studio and how it functioned and the creative decisions behind uh, these beautiful windows that are scattered in churches around Ireland and further afield. The Anthorgliana Archive was donated to the National Gallery of Ireland in 1966 by Patrick Pollan and it's now held in the Centre for the Study of Irish Art. Anthorgliana was established at the height of the Celtic Revival in 1903 by uh, portrait painter Sarah Purser and the studio really produced innovative Celtic Revival designs. They also embraced the British arts and crafts philosophies of William Morris and John Ruskin. It was uh, established on a cooperative basis with a shared workshop killing and materials. This cooperative model really uh, helped artists access training and employment opportunities. This was particularly beneficial for women artists and women artists were vital to the artistic achievements of the studio. But the artists were really encouraged to develop their own personal style in the medium and um, so you distinguish between the authorship of the different artists. Among the many artists that worked at Anthorglina were A.E. Child, Michael Healy, Wilhelmina Geddes, Catherine O'Brien and Evie Hone. By the 1920s, they had commissions from the United States of America, from Singapore, India, Canada. They really advanced the international reputation of Irish stained glass um, and the Irish arts and crafts movement internationally. I am so excited to see the stained glass, to see the story of Anthorglana really come to life. There are so many wonderful stories to be found in this exhibition and many of these artists will be unfamiliar to um, visitors, so it's great to bring these stories and these artists into the light.